So as many of you already know, I recently lost a beloved family member of mine. He was the co-host of this channel. You saw him in many of my other videos. Uh, it's my Doberman Cooper. Now I feel like my family and I have kind of worked through the hardest part of losing Cooper. And I mean, although it still really hurts a lot, I feel like we can kind of look at his life with a clear head now. And the question that we keep coming back to is why we lost our doorman at such a young age, six years old was how old he was when he passed. And uh, I just had to find out if this was a new normal for the doorman breed. Look, I'm very aware that the official life expectancy for a Doberman is between 10 to 13 years. This has been a long-standing answer to this question. If you Google this question or you look on Wikipedia, that's the answer you will find. Now, but I'm not entirely convinced that this is what owners are actually uh, experiencing in this day and age with this generation of Dobermans. So to find out, I conducted my own unofficial study, pulling information from as many social media resources as possible, so we'll go over that as well as the results of a recent online poll. In total, it's information from about 150 different owners that recently lost their Dobermans. And guys, the data is surprising about what's going on currently in the Doberman world. So uh, once we discuss that, we'll also talk about why the Doberman may not be living as long as we once thought. And finally, we'll talk about the longest living Doberman ever recorded. This is some really important stuff, guys, for people who uh, want to get a doorman or currently have a doorman. So let's get to it. So in preparation for an article I was writing for my website, dobermanplanet.com, on this same topic, um, I spent hours looking for any kind of registry or any kind of official numbers that actually recorded deaths of dobermans and where we could find some of this data already recorded, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So what I decided to do was conduct this study myself. I was armed with a spreadsheet and my computer and I spent hours and hours, multiple days, scouring as many social media outlets as possible, finding every recent story of an owner who lost their dog. And I recorded and pulled out the important information, the sex, the age, the death of, uh, of each of these dogs that was reported on so these social media channels. Now guys, it's worth reiterating that this is my own unofficial study. This is not some researcher textbook thing. This is something I did with days of my effort with a spreadsheet to find out what's happening with the Doberman Pinscher. In the end, I reviewed over 59 different stories um, of people who had recently lost their Dobermans and compiled that data into my spreadsheet. So let me throw the information and the results of my own unofficial study up on the screen. So my unofficial study encompassed the recent stories of the deaths of 18 male Dobermans. Uh, there were 22 female Dobermans that died and 19 unknowns. Now they might be an unknown just simply because the owner did not report their sex uh, in their story online. So in total, it was 59 different dogs that had recently died. And uh, the males, their average age at death were, was 10 and a half years. And the females were 8.7. The unknowns were 8.9. And the total number of guys out of every story I could find of recent deaths was an average age of 8.9 years. So let's take a minute to discuss why my study may be less than perfect. Here's why. So the data I got from my study was collected by scouring internet forums on Dobermans, scouring Facebook groups, scouring any discussion boards I can find um, for any recent deaths that, that have been described in these forums by any of its members and collecting that information for my study. So uh, now something really interesting happens on social media and I like to call it the X factor. So the X factor, let me describe this to you for a second, is your ex, right? A man, a woman that you've dated. Um, they're never going to post online when their life is going horribly, right? They're only going to post when everything is wonderful and it's just so great. So um, this, it's kind of the reverse X factor. People who have lost a dog, a Doberman, for example, 
and are going to post online about it are much more inclined to post online in mourning, looking for that support from people online when they felt cheated from the death of their dog. They felt like they didn't get long enough with their dog. I believe that the people who experience the expected lifespan of 10 to 13 years or even a, a dog that lived to a ripe old age of above that won't feel that kind of cheated feeling and may not be pushed just slightly over the edge where they need the comfort from an online community. So I think these factors, this X factor or reverse X factor may have skewed these results just slightly so that it may be shown these dogs are dying a little bit earlier uh, than otherwise they might actually be. Luckily, back in 2012, DobermanTalk.com uh, conducted a poll of its members asking this very same question, trying to answer this question that I was trying to answer with my unofficial study. They asked their members, how long do their Dobermans live? And uh, let's throw up the results of that study on the screen right now, or excuse me, that poll. In that poll, 106 people were polled, and of those 106, uh, the average age of death for the, their Doberman was 13.6 years of age. Now this is incredibly old guys in my opinion, but we'll talk about that in a second. Um, the age most often cited was 10 years and 12 years. It was a tie between those two, there's 23 votes each. Um, the oldest age cited was more than 14 years of age, there's 11 votes for that, and the youngest age cited was under five years of age and there was 13 votes for that age category. Now guys, 13.6 years of age is way higher than I would have expected. But again, let's talk about why this poll may be imperfect as well. Um, this poll was done on a website of seasoned Doberman owners that are very proud of how healthy and how long they keep their dogs alive. And I am not saying that any of these people lied. What I am saying is that uh, they may be inclined not to post a response if their dogs lived a shorter lifespan. Whereas if they're proud of how healthy and how long they kept their dog alive, they can sort of brag to this online community about how well they did. And more of those people might respond to this poll than those who lost their dog at a younger age. This is another form of the X factor, right? This is the bragging X factor. I believe this may have played at least a minor role in this poll as well. These are just my guesses as to why these two things are so different from each other, um, but it's worth noting and I'd be curious what you guys think about it. So why are so many of these dogs dying at a young age? I mean, either way you look at it, this poll I just discussed, which had a little bit rosier results, even in that poll, a good number of respondents said that their dog died under five years of age. Uh, in my unofficial study, uh, the average age was under nine years of age. Uh, my dog died at six. There's so many stories online of these dogs dying so young, especially in recent generations. Why is this happening? Well, let's talk about a couple of factors. One, we know the Doberman's a little bit, in my opinion, a large dog. It's classified officially as a medium-sized dog, but let's be honest, they can be up to 100 pounds, sometimes over. That's a large dog, in my opinion. Um, in general, in the dog world, the larger the dog is, the shorter the lifespan. Great Dane, for example. The Great Dane is a very big dog. Its lifespan is between eight to 10 years of age. Now compare this to a Shih Tzu, a very small dog. Its lifespan is between 10 to 16 years. This rule generally holds true very well in the dog world. The smaller the dog, the longer they live. Dobermans are big dogs. Now, they also have some genetic problems and disorders that run in the Doberman line that can make a big impact on this. Uh, Von Wildebrand's disease is a blood clotting disorder that is very common in the Doberman lines. Uh, chronic active hepatitis or just other forms of hepatitis, which are disorders of the liver. That's a big one. That's what took my dog's life at the age of six. Uh, wobbler syndrome, which is a compression of the spine and the neck. Um, that can take dogs at a very young age as well. A bloat, a gastrointestinal issue with Dobermans. Uh, prostate diseases are pretty common in Dobermans. A uh, hip dysplasia. And finally, the most important one, the one that has most of the pros scared about the future of the Doberman breed is DCM or dilated cardiomyopathy. And if you wanna learn more about DCM, which I suggest you do, especially if you're looking into this breed, um, take a look at this link right up here on your screen. It should be popping up. This is a video I did all about DCM so you can learn more about it. But there was a study done back in 2010 that showed that 58% of all Dobermans will develop DCM at some point in their lifetime. And this is an incredibly deadly, this is a chronic disease, you can't cure it. Um, it's a disorder of the heart and it can take the life of the dog with very little symptoms ahead of time and very quickly at a young age. This is what has 
the pros the most scared health-wise about the future of the Doberman breed. Now guys, I promise to tell you how old the oldest Doberman that's known to exist it was. So um, there is a story on the internet of a Doberman living in Berlin, Germany that made it to the ripe old age of 22 years old. That is just almost unbelievable to me. Um, it's referred to multiple times from multiple outlets as a documented case of the dog living at 22. I haven't seen anything to back this up, like why they call it documented, but 22 years of age, Doberman living in Berlin, Germany, makes sense. That's where the dogs came from. Maybe they have healthier ones over there. I don't know. Uh, the oldest Doberman that I've seen or talked to owner of, I, I've talked to many owners that have Dobermans about 14 years old. I've talked to some that have Dobermans at 15 and I've talked to only a few that have a 16 year old Doberman. One gentleman actually contacted me recently, he told me a story of his 16 year old Doberman that's just about to turn 17. But those are the oldest ones that I've encountered myself. I have a lot of really experienced Doberman owners who are subscribed to this channel. So I'm talking to you guys, you guys who have had Dobermans in the past. How long did your Doberman live to and what ultimately took their life? Drop a comment down below so we can see if there's kind of any running trends. And to everybody watching this video, what do you think of these results? What do you think of my own unofficial study and this poll that was done online? Do you think the uh, results of either of these two may be skewed and why or why not? Uh, don't forget to subscribe guys because I got some really cool uh, videos in the works that are coming out in the near future and you don't want to miss them. And hit that like button while you're here and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.